Right, Sketch Red Podcast, be back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be discussing something that Young Dolph's uh, girlfriend said about why he was uh, deleted in him and Nipsey Hussle. So we'll be back, man. Who raised you? Oh my god, this is so hard. Oh my god. That last bar was crazy. Oh my god. Uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I can't, can't understand it neither. All right, yeah, man. So we back. Make sure y'all hit that like, share, subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. You know what I mean? YouTube is not notifying anybody. Also looked at the analytics. And a good portion of y'all who watch our videos are not subscribed. We would love to have y'all as a subscriber. You know what I'm saying? We do this all the time. And we're going to keep this train running. When you're about YouTube, we here for the people. That's what I'm saying. If you want to donate, catch that. PayPal is in the description. If not, to share the content. That's a great way to donate too. All right. So Young Dolph was killed, I believe, last year sometime, or maybe a year before that. I'm not not sure. Sorry. Correct me in the comments. Um, and his girlfriend, he had some things to say about the situation. So let's get it not even that serious it's some rap at the end of the day Dolph not here because of some rap somebody got mad that, or you know what let me not even because I don't know the facts because the facts are not just plainly clear but if I were to guess based on the history of things rap bro a song or two some ego let's no 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 let's take that let's let's break that down even more ego he not here because of ego that's a spirit. If if anybody just want to call a spade a spade, it's a spirit. And he's not here because of some ego. And even if you say, well, he possessed the ego. At the end of the day, it's not even that serious. It's some rap. <laughs> we, we, we killing people because of a bruise, a scarred ego. What is even like people get killed every day because you disrespected me. Nipsey Hussle not here because old boy said he felt disrespected. You're taking a life because you feel disrespected. That's the weakest ever. What are you talking about? <laughs> we, we, we killing people because of a bruised, a scarred ego. All right, man. Yeah, we back. All right, so... A lot to unpack there, man. The things she said. It goes deeper than what a lot of people say. Hip hop music is the only genre where you have to worry about whether you're going to get killed or not. I mean, when I mean by killed, I'm talking like killed, deleted, killed off. You know, country music, if you get, if they don't have to worry about that. Maybe maybe if they go into the crowd and the crowd uh, runs to them and trample them or something like that. But they don't have to worry about that in country music, rock music, uh, any other genre. Hip hop music is the only genre where people have to watch their back. Mm-hmm. And when she said the thing about ego. Like, first of all, let me just put this out there. I'm not into all the spirit things. I'm not into that spirit all that's that's the spirit no I'm not into that all I'm saying is people jealous of you they get mad at you they feel like you 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 doing something that they can't do they'll get you out of here because in their head you're better than them and they can never be you or they they look at it like well I don't want to be you, but I just don't like you. 
and it's hip hop music, man. I just don't understand what, 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 when is this going to stop and change? We, we lost so many, so many potential greats because of this. Nipsey Hussle, gone. He's gone. He was a good dude. I don't know what he did in his off time, but from what I've seen, he was a really good guy. Like, I, I, ne- I never met Nipsey Hussle. Never. Never met him. Nothing. I felt like when he got killed, I felt like it was somebody I knew got killed. A lot of people felt that way. I was really hurt. I didn't know this guy, but I knew the energy that he put out. And you gonna you gonna end that? What what, what are you thinking? A positive energy running around here, and you you put it out. Not that many of positive energies running around, and you put it out because you felt disrespected or you didn't like what does that get you you can never you can never show your face again ever in the world so you got rid of somebody just to get rid of yourself which makes no sense basically that's what it was so now you gone forever and he's gone forever all because of you. I don't get it, man. But hip hop is hip hop needs to um, hip hop needs to grow up, man. You know what I mean? But we'll get to that. Go ahead, man. You got it. Um, for one, I want to say this. Uh, she has a point when it comes to spirits. I know, I know, you don't believe in that stuff, but energy. When you carry a certain mystique 24-7, technically that's kind of a a spirit. You know what I mean? Maybe some people don't agree with that, but it is. And what I believe that she should have said was you got to watch what type of energy that you're being around because those two guys, regardless, regardless of how successful they are, that's the sex was go- was gone just like that because a lot of reason is that because their past life and the energy surrounding them. Now, mind you, Nipsey had a lot of positive energy, but I promise you this, there had to be at least one or two bad apples within that that was disrupting that energy. And the dude that got him killed or killed him himself, whatever, he was one of he was one of them. You understand what I'm saying? And that's the type of stuff I'm talking about. When you try to go here, you gotta get rid of all the dead weight. Because that dead weight is always gonna drag you down. It don't matter, it don't matter if they was with you from the beginning. If they don't see you being successful and they just around you because of what you could provide for them, then it's time for you to push them aside. Do it early. Don't wait. I'm telling you because jealousy in the form of hate, all that stuff mixed together can bring problems and be detrimental to you personally. You know what I mean? And this is exactly why, you know what I mean, when it comes to entourages, you got to be careful. When it comes to them big, large entourages, you got to be careful. Because you, when, 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 when you start bringing more and more and more people in, you know what I mean, and you see their loyalty is kind of like flimsy, as soon as you start seeing them acting weird, it's time to cut them off. Time to cut them off. But I, I, I mean, I get what she's saying, though. 
You know what I mean? But it, it's it's a lot more deeper than that than in what than what she said. But I get it. I understand what she's saying too. But I mean, you know, um, when you dabble, when you dabble in, when you try to juggle both lifestyles, it's a it, it, it's you put a price tag on yourself. You know, that's why once you once you get ahead, you gotta leave the other stuff alone. Now I don't now I don't know what happened on both sides, but I just know those were two successful black men that were doing their numbers and getting ahead in life and they got taken out wrongfully. And it happens all the time. As soon as you try to get here, you got another jealous one trying to come out of nowhere and put your lights out. You know what I mean? For whatever reason. Well, That's I, I why. Can, I, hmm? I, I can explain uh, both of those stories. Um, mm. Dolph, I believe, he had he, he basically did did what he wanted. He wasn't one of those guys that walked around people. He said to himself, listen, if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. He used to always say that. Uh, my go. time to go? My time to go, but I'm not going to run around. I'm not going to stop living in my neighborhood. I'm not going to do none of that. I'm going to still go to the store. I'm going to still do all this. And and I'm not blaming Dolph for anything. But you have to be you have to be a little more aware of your surroundings. People yeah. are just people. They just people are stupid. That's yeah. just that. People are dumb. When it comes to Nipsey, the guy that 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 offed him or or knocked him off, they wasn't cool like that. You know what I'm saying? It was all right, but they wasn't cool. He wasn't a part of Nipsey's group or whatever. Not saying you said that, but I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. He did something and Nipsey told him, I can't mess with you like that. Because you snitched. You could, you could be cool, you stay over there, but I can't message you. And that's when he <laughs> felt like he got disrespected. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't know what's going on with this. But, uh, I believe that when he got, when he got, um, killed, Nipsey was the same way. He didn't leave his hood. And he actually built businesses in his in his hood, yeah. and a lot of people didn't like it. And that guy, he didn't like it. He said he wanted to hear his tape or something like his mixtape. Like I can't message you like that. He was snitch or something. Nobody knows because nobody was there. At least we wasn't there. But. Yeah. But either way, man. Sketchpad podcast. We out of here. See y'all. Peace. Bye.